major depression all over. You know, I, yeah. I don't want. And one of the reasons why I never had kids. So, uh, what do you think you will achieve by staying out here? Recognition. Recognition. Kind of have to be somewhere. For literally, literally go. them hmm. to, and you know, I know in America you try to simplify a bit, so you know, stay in America. But yeah, Wall Street and uh, the government admitting and um, being held accountable for. So you're just looking for kind of a, an apology or like a admittance to what well, they did. You're not like yeah, them. that's the first step. Once again, accountability. You know, a lot of this stuff is treason. Treason. It's plain and simple treason. And what are you guys' plans you know. for holidays coming up? This I'm going to be here. Sure. I was here. actually here. Was a great guy. Last night I was laying in bed and I was like, man, it's December. Yeah. It's December. Christmas coming up. Coming up. Um, yeah, maybe I get one of his friends. What, what am I going to do? <laughs> what does your family think of this? My kids think I'm insane because it's cold. My kids, my I, my my kids, the first time they came out here, were like I've never, you know, they've never sat in a tent. How old are they? 20, 19, 17, <clears throat> 16, 10, and eight months. Okay. Where are they? So all yeah, at? where do they stay? They are out here. Kids. They're, they're all stay, they all stay together. And I'm like, I've also got a uh, eight month old grandbaby. Okay. <clears throat> like, come every day. I get. I just got the call this morning an hour ago. Come home, mama. I'm like, I go home, you know, I go home and spend time there, but they, my kids think I'm the same for being out here. Every once in a while, you know, you do need to get out of the weather and thaw out and, and rewind. And... Do you ever feel like you have more of an obligation to be there than here? I've kind of split Since... up because my kids, I mean, my, my kids are older. They're, they're, they're starting their own families. Okay. Um, so I've kind of split up, you know, the, the obligation. It's, the obligations between here and there, you know, I've, I've balanced them, so. And what's your guys' like breaking point? Like, where does this where does this end? Like, like, man, we're not sure yet. I mean, nobody can predict the future. We don't know what's gonna happen. In what way? Yeah. You know, physically, the cops come in. I, you know. Yeah. I mean, they can come in anytime. They can come in right now yeah. and and raid us. You know. Are you guys just emotionally like this isn't worth it? They're obviously not gonna. Because I mean, Let's just technically they can't. Yeah. You're protected. You guys have to like realize that. You know, Actually, every law out here that, that we're breaking every park and recreation yeah. law there really? is yeah. in the books. We are breaking them. Right but it's now. a public park, right? Well, so night, you're night, protected night. by the First Amendment. We're, so, yeah. we're not allowed yeah. to be in the park yeah. at night. We're not allowed to have fires. We're not allowed to litter. Yeah. We're not allowed to have the tents. They have come by and I feel like a couple times to take tents down. I feel like they feel like they would just be like kind of pushing the envelope a little bit if they came out here and asked you that because that might just cause some more. Well, the police came by last stuff. night. We were all standing around. Actually, we had three fires lit last night. They came in, they waved, they left. The helicopter comes by, they'll flash the lights, and still leave. Um, I think they don't want to fight you guys because you I guys get recognition if they do that. For, yeah, and so far the, the police department and the Parks and Rec has left us alone. I, I think they, I think they support it. Yeah, we try not to push the limit. Huh? I think they support it. I mean, we're talking about police officers who some states have to go on furloughs. You know, if I'm correct, um, there was in Atlanta or something, it was, I believe it was Atlanta, and you have to look at like the first Occupy Homes thing. Um, a police officer, he was furloughed, couldn't pay his uh, mortgage, you know, told the people, they're like, listen, call the city, I work for the city police bot. Well, they were already a victim. Just, uh, you know, sure. so they, they are. As far as like the 1%, there is no one, no one working in that building is a 1%. None of the mayors, yeah. the police officers, you know? Mm -hmm. That one percent is going to the building for, uh, yeah. you know, whatever, you know. Yeah. Did you guys, like, realize that, you know, I mean, you're out here for what you think is a good cause, but you have to realize that most likely nothing's actually going to happen from you guys being out here. Just because, um, like, what is the advantage for them, sure, like, sure, changing their ways? Sure. Like, they're making money, sure. you know. Um, so, I mean, there's... It would take probably... I don't know, a revolution. Some kind of, some kind of like, and I mean, like stuff legal, like this has happened before. Like, action. And, and they're and not gonna like, usually just demonstration blows over. doesn't just like hit them that hard, you know? Because yeah, once again, though, look at the numbers. Look at how many cities. I mean, this is around the world. They're huge. They're huge. Um, what percent well, of the ninety nine percent? Oh, right? the operation uh, transfer day. Okay, like I said, um, more people in one month transfer their monies to credit unions than all of last year. And how many people was that? It was like uh, 650,000. 
what what percent is that of the 99 percent because to get that change they're going to oh, want oh, majority oh, of the I, night, not I, maybe even more than majority i don't feel i don't know but, but you also. know to, to get them in it's about like a half to, a to percent. pinch their fuel lines to pinch them in. once again though to to do this to to fully do it we'll, america has, has to deal with the consumerism and it, because it's that consumerism that fuels their power and their greed. Um, yeah, no, if nothing comes out of it, I, I can't, I don't believe that. It can, it's just too big. It's just too big. As uh, you know, it's even I, it's like kicking them in the butt. So, yeah. if you're constantly that little 